Assalamualaikum. Hi. Welcome to Chapter 5, Thermochemistry. Believe or not, this is the easiest chapter of the whole Form 3 syllabus. What are you waiting for? Let's start. You have learned the different types of energy and one of them is chemical energy. Chemical energy is the energy stored in all chemical substances. During a chemical reaction, the chemical energy stored in the reactants are converted mainly into heat energy and other forms of energy such as light energy. Thermochemistry is the branch of chemistry that studies the changes in heat energy in chemical reactions. Chemical reactions can be divided into two classes based on the energy changes that occur during the reaction exothermic reactions, endothermic reactions. The prefix exo, endo, and thermic originate from the Greek word. Exo means oxide, endo means inside, and thermic means heat. So, when we are talking about exothermic reaction, the heat is released to the outside. For endothermic reaction, the heat goes inside. I purposely represent the exothermic reaction with combustion, while for endothermic reaction, I symbolized with the melting of ice, which I will explain more later. To study the exothermic reaction, we can just dissolve sodium hydroxide solid into water. We need 50 cm cube of water inside a plastic or polystyrene cup, a spatula of sodium hydroxide solid, and a thermometer. The thermometer is placed inside the water to get the initial temperature. Then, a spatula of sodium hydroxide solid is added to the water and the mixture is slowly stirred with the thermometer. The highest temperature obtained is recorded. All these steps are repeated then to study the endothermic reaction by dissolving ammonium chloride solid into water. When an exothermic reaction occurs, heat is released to the surroundings. The reaction mixture and the container become hot and the temperature of the reaction mixture rises. The chemical energy is converted into heat energy. When an endothermic reaction occurs, heat energy is absorbed and is transferred to the reactions. The reaction mixture and the container become cold and the temperature of the reaction mixture falls. The heat energy is now converted into chemical energy. Can you classify evaporation of water and condensation into the correct type of reaction? Of course you can by following these tips. In condensation, gas changes to liquid. So condensation belongs to the exothermic reaction. Evaporation, on the other hand, is an endothermic reaction as liquid turns to gas. Combustion is the example of exothermic reaction because it releases heat to the surroundings. Neutralization between acid and alkali, rusting of iron, and the instant hot pack are the other examples for exothermic reaction. The melting of ice is the endothermic reaction because it absorbs heat to change from the solid matter to liquid. Photosynthesis, baking of cakes, and also the instant cold pack are the examples for the endothermic reaction. Do you know exactly when to use instant hot packs and instant cold packs? Instant hot packs are used to relieve muscle cramp. 
This can be done because the heat released by these instant hot packs can increase the lumen size in the blood capillaries as well as the blood circulation rate. Instant cold packs can reduce the swelling of lungs. The heat absorbed by instant cold pack reduces the size of lumen. Therefore, the rate of blood circulation is reduced and helps to stop bleeding. That's the end of chapter 5. Chai Chai Che Koila. Bye.